Um, thank you, Mr. Moderator. Dave Lang, 66 Park Avenue. Um, first of all, I didn't mean for my comments to be uh, intimidating or threatening or making any predictions in a Nostradamus way. Um, in a Nostradamus way um, that uh, we were saying that the sky was going to fall or that people weren't going to be responding. Um, the fact that I was, the point that I was trying to make, um, the point that I was trying to make was this. We come out of a recession, the worst one in the history of our country in 2008 and 2009. And during those periods in 10 and 11 and 12, that was a period into which the town of Hampton made a conscious decision to tighten up the belt and put a lot of things on hold. Um, that's, we're out of that. We're leading our way out of that in the state. We're leading our way out of that here in Hampton. And now's the time to spend just a little bit on investing in the infrastructure as previous speakers had talked about. But I need to address a couple of points. Um, one, the budget committee does make the budget. I just happen to philosophically disagree with the budget that they made. This deliberative session is the place in which we craft what we believe the money should be to put on the operating budget. Now, why would the operating budget be up front? Why is it first? It's first because that's the biggest expenditure. That's what makes this community run. All of those other Warren articles after the fact, um, are, by law, come after the operating budget. Because if the operating budget is not crafted appropriately, it's going to cause a problem for the town. Now, the Budget Committee has a right to set a number. This deliberative session can raise by 10% or lower by 10% the recommended figure by the Budget Committee. Now, this is a bottom line budget. Do I need to explain where the money's gonna go? I could say yes, I know exactly where I want it to go. I want it to put all these improvements on Park Avenue because that's where I live. The million bucks put it there. But you know what? We took a group, taxpayers took a group, a group of taxpayers in this town, took the default budget number and the budget number to the New Hampshire Supreme Court and the court confirmed it's a bottom line budget and the governing body can do with as it sees fit. So I can tell them all day long where I want it to go, it's not gonna make a hill of beans. In closing, Mr. Chairman, let me just comment on one thing that I'm sure is gonna end up um, on a colored sheet that's gonna go around the town. <laughs> and that is the fact that the default budget number may or may not contain, contain things that it didn't have before or shouldn't have. The default budget number is there, as I said before, it's a floor. That's the only magic I believe that the legislature put in, was to create a floor that in case the proposal didn't go through, it bounced down. What goes in it? Everything that was spent last year, plus contractual obligations, plus or minus any one-time expenditures, and they go further. The 424 members of the New Hampshire legislature went further to define what a one-time expenditure was. And for the purposes of this paragraph, one-time expenditures shall be appropriations not likely to reoccur in the succeeding budget as determined by the governing body. In this case here, the governing body, I believe, has determined those reoccurring expenditures are going to reoccur. So with that, Mr. Chairman, I would ask this deliberative session to please support my amendment, and let's keep Hampton moving forward. Thank you, Mr. Lang.